Hi, this is Randy Wong. I'm a retina specialist in Fairfax, Virginia, which is just outside Washington, D.C. in the United States. This is a case where a 62-year-old female had a redetachment of her retina in the left eye. This occurred about a week and a half after the original surgery, where I had where I had performed vitrectomy with gas, which is these days pretty much the standard for um, repairing retinal detachments. So what I'm doing here is I'm reinstalling or I'm installing a three-port vitrectomy system. Those blue um, devices are called trocars, and they allow clean entry and exit of my instruments into the eye or through the walls of the eye. There are three of them. One is to support an infusion line to keep the eye inflated with uh, balanced salt solution, which is exactly what you're seeing right there. And I'm ensuring that the infusion line is working. And that's why I'm uh, coating the uh, cornea, not only to keep it wet and moist, but to make sure that the infusion line actually is keeping the eye filled. What I'm doing now when I turn the lights off is I want to make sure I can see the tip of that metal cannula inside the eye so that I know it is not stuck underneath the retina, which happens on rare occasion. So now I've got the infusion cannula hooked up to the eye and the eye is under positive pressure and I've got a trocar for my left or an entry port for my left hand and an entry uh, port for my right hand. And if we look at a retina right now, most everything looks great. About two weeks ago she had a macula off detachment. Regardless, what I'm looking for is, and I'm going to demonstrate right here, is if you look from about 7.30 to 9 o'clock, right where those arrows are, that's the area of the detachment. And it's really small, and it's very anterior, and she is completely unaware that she's detaching again, which is a good thing, which means that her prognosis is just as good as it was, or bad as it was, a couple of weeks ago. If you look at the retina, you see that it's kind of undulating. And the reason for that is I'm doing something called scleral depression. I'm actually pushing on the eye from the outside in. And we do this for areas of the retina which are very anterior because it's difficult to see straight on through a dilated pupil. So this is way, way, way out to the periphery or to the side. And I'm actually pushing it into view so I can get a better look. And what I'm looking for is that arrow there, that tear. I want to make sure I can figure out why she's redetaching. There's always at least one additional tear, and this is the problem, or this is something we're very concerned about, as the gas gets absorbed after the uh, first operation. So I want to make sure that there's, I can find the tear that led to the redetachment. And there you go, there's the detachment, and there's the tear. I didn't find any other tears, which is good, but you always get a little paranoid. Once you find one, could there be two? There could always be two. But what's nice is that this is a very small uh, detachment, so I don't have to look all over the eye for additional tears because I know they can't possibly be there. Otherwise, the retina in those locales might be detached. So after I examine her under the microscope while I'm operating, I've now just figured out where I, where I need to treat or where I'm going to find the tears. And I'm going to treat the low-lying detachment or that little itty-bitty piece of retinal detachment with diathermy. I'm going to mark it. Uh, the diathermy is essentially cautery and it turns the retina white. Watch this. See those little dots? And this is going to be important because when I put, when I take all the fluid out of the eye, it's harder for me to see. Now this last little, what I call retinotomy, I'm actually burning a hole through the retina in just a second, right there. I'm creating a hole so that I can drain or aspirate the fluid that's underneath the retina. And now I'm gonna remove all the fluid inside the eye, in the center of the eye, and underneath the retina. And this is called a fluid air exchanger. I'm exchanging fluid in the eye for air. 
and in a moment you'll see these bubbles entering the eye because we're no longer pumping saline solution into the eye but now we're actually pumping in filtered air and this is a great way to reattach retina I'm removing all the fluid in the vitreous and in the vitreous cavity and underneath the detached retina and I apologize that's a little blurry it, it is sometimes difficult to see well which it underscores why I wanted to mark the retina with diathermy because regardless I can see it turn white or I can see the white marks even though I'm looking through air and what I'm going to be doing in just a moment and I probably cut out most of the laser is I want to identify the holes or tears including the retinotomy so I can treat them with I can surround them with laser so that's impossible for her to re-detach from these same tears over the ensuing days the laser that I perform will create adhesions between the retina and the tissue underneath going to see some bright flashes that's the aiming beam that red beam tells me where my laser will go once I step on the pedal so what I did there briefly was I lasered around the tear and I lasered around the what we call the retinotomy which is the hole I created to allow me to remove the subretinal fluid now the eye is full of air right now and I am going to exchange the air with SF6 so you're going to see a needle the needle on the left is actually injecting SF6 into the eye and this needle on the lower right is actually the vent and once we've exchanged the air for SF6 we're basically done this is Randy Wong thank you so much for watching I really appreciate your following us please uh, Follow our websites if you'd like at retinaeyedoctor.com or www.vitrectomyforfloaters.com. A special thanks to my staff at Woodburn Surgical Center, part of Inova Fairfax, and a very special thanks to Brooklyn Duo, who, let, who allows us to use our music or their music in our videos. Stay well. If you got questions or comments, please ask below. Take care. <laughs>